Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I uh, did a little damage at Ulta over the weekend and I thought I would share with you guys a few of the things that I picked up there. Um, I picked up some things for my 500 subscriber giveaway which are in this bag right here and um, I have um, two palettes that I kind of want to go over with you guys today. The first one is this Makeup Revolution uh, Neutral Neutrals versus Neutrals or whatever. I, I don't know how to say that. Neutral versus Neutrals palette, I think is how you say it. Um, here, I have the packaging. This one right here. <laughs> um, it says that there are... Um, This one's, it says it's new. It contains a double-ended professional eyeshadow brush. I guess the original palette that they came out with like that did not have the brush in it. So let me show you guys the brush. I have not used this brush yet. Um, I'm not sure that I will. I don't know. It seems okay, I guess. Um, but I have my Morphe brushes and those are what I normally tend to um, go for when I do my eyeshadows and powders and blushes and all that good stuff but maybe I'll try it out I don't know anyway let's get to the palette I am wearing it right now um, I did my first look with it today so this palette has been used um, I tried several of the colors uh, in this palette um, these are some very gorgeous um, spring, summer, fall colors even. Um, these are a lot of neutrals and nudes that you can pretty much wear any time of the year. I did a uh, smoky eye glam look today. Uh, kind of kept it uh, on like a lighter smoky eye, you know, just a, a, a basic glam, I guess you would call it. Um, There are probably five or six colors on my eyes right now, um, and I tried a couple of the shimmers, I tried several of the mattes, and I was really impressed with the pigmentation. The blendability is fantastic. Um, some of the colors are very similar. Um, they don't look similar in the palette, but once you apply them, there's two in here. Once you apply them, they're really, really close, so close that you can't even tell them apart once they're applied. But other than that, um, it's a really good palette to have in your collection. So if you don't already have it, I would go pick it up. Right now they have all of their palettes are on sale. Buy one, get one 50% off. Um, so I got myself this one and um, also bought one uh, for my daughter. It was her, it, her birthday is in a few days, so I went ahead and picked up one for her. Um, I picked up a couple of other palettes. One is in the giveaway. I will go over that one whenever um, I do the video for the giveaway. I'm waiting on a couple more things to come in. And then the other one is this one right here. Let me grab it real quick. The other palette that I grabbed um, was this one right here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but this is the Flawless Matte Ultra Eyeshadow Palette. Um, on the back it shows you some of the colors. They're very neutral um, I would say very neutral nude colors. Um, they, they do not, the one thing about this palette that um, was kind of a downer was how the colors appear on the back are not really uh, representative of what's in this palette. And if I can find um, my little tweezers, I just had them. Here they are. They're, they're um, great to use to open these palettes up. That way you don't tear the, the box up as much. I just kind of slide it under there and it, it helps to pop it open because otherwise it's just too hard to get them, get them open. And then that way you don't tear up your packaging or anything. You slide it out. 
I have not used this palette yet. Um, not even sure that I will. Um, but these are the colors. And they're beautiful. Don't get me wrong. The colors in here are very gorgeous. But they're all so similar that um, I'm afraid that they'll apply you know, pretty much the same way. Like say for instance... These three right here, I mean, this basically this whole whole row, with the exception of the bottom one there, they're, it's all the same. I mean, they look exactly the same. All these are very, so close, you know, that it just doesn't, there's really no need to have that many of that same color, in my opinion. Um, a lot of taupey colors, you know, I mean, they're really good colors, though. I just think that they're so similar um but what i was thinking was i could either take this palette back and exchange it for the the i think it's the golden bar the chocolate bar one that i wanted um they didn't have it at the ulta by me so i would have to go across town to another ulta and see if they have it so i can either do that or i can um use this for a future giveaway or something uh, I have not decided yet on what I'm going to do because this palette just is not something that I need. Um, I have so many palettes. I really don't need any more palettes, you know, but I just keep buying them. I think it's a small addiction. Um, and I say small because, yeah, it could be worse. Um, but anyway, I wanted to show you guys this one and then, of course, the um, Neutral versus neutrals this one right here and I love this one this one has wonderful colors that I will continue to use pretty much on a daily probably for a while just to get you know my feel for the palette and everything I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day and kind of see how it wears and and uh, I'll check back in with you guys later on and let you know how the look held up I need to go run some errands so I'll go take care of a couple of things out and about it's about 98 degrees outside so um, yeah if it does not last um, we're gonna put it to the test today for sure in this heat so I will check back in with you guys here in a little bit and let you know how it held out and um, as a matter of fact I'm wearing a couple of new items on my face today I am trying out a new primer this is um, the Stay Matte by uh, Rimmel, and um, this is in the um, 003 shade, which is a, it's a white, um, I'll just show you guys, it's just a white cream, it's rather thick, um, like a lotion, and once it goes on, it's a little sticky feeling at first until it dries down. And I have found that it works best that if you let it dry completely down before you apply your foundation. Otherwise, your foundation will not look matte. Um, not as matte as you want it to be. I am wearing it right now through my T-zone area um, because that's where I tend to get a lot of shine. So um, I'm going to test that out today as well and see how it holds up. Uh, I do have a lot of oil through that area there. So we'll see how that does also i'm wearing a set of my new lashes by aoa studios this is from shop miss a um, the style that i'm wearing right now is called alexis so um i don't know if you guys can see the name right there but it's called alexis and um I love them. I think they're gorgeous. They are very, um, very glamorous, you know, so, um, but yet natural glamorous. They're not like, I don't know. They're just kind of an in-between. I really like that. They're natural yet glamorous, you know, they're not, um, all sporadic or big bold, you know, but they give you that extra oomph, you know what I mean? That you need or that I need. Okay. So, yeah, we're trying those out today we'll see how that works and that's pretty much it so i will check back in with you guys here in a few minutes or actually a couple hours <laughs> i will check back with you guys in a couple hours 
Okay, so I'm back. Uh, I've been running errands. Um, it has been three hours since I first applied the makeup, so I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see how it has lasted so far. Okay, so as you can see, the eyeshadow is holding up quite nicely, and the weather here has been relatively hot today. It's 98 degrees and it feels like it's 112. Um, and then also I've got a little bit of greasiness going on here, a little bit of oil. I have not touched up anything uh, with the exception of the lipstick. I did take off the lipstick that I had on because it was not a matte. It was a gloss and I just, ugh, I, I don't like glosses. They just get messy on your teeth and stuff. So I took that off and put on this uh, matte uh, lipstick and um, it's the new AOA Shop Miss A um, cover matte wonder matte yeah wonder matte lipstick in the color trend so I put this one on and it's it's been fine but yeah so the eyeshadow the eyelashes the um, I really like this uh, mattifying primer from Rimmel it's a really good stuff um, so far it tells up really nicely I do have a little bit like I said I got a little bit of a just a tiny bit of oil right through here. I blotted it earlier, um, but other than that, I mean, it, it's held up quite nice. And not a lot of shine or anything. I still feel really smooth and silky where I applied it. Um, it does cut down on the pores quite a bit. Um, so yeah, I really love this um, Stay Matte Primer. Um, it works very well with the Born This Way foundation, and I applied it with a sponge. Um, so that's pretty much it. This is my check-in. I think the eyeshadows are well worth the money. I think those palettes, these palettes right here, I think they're $12, and they're buy one, get one 50% off. So definitely um, worth the money. If you get two palettes, it's 18 bucks For two palettes with all of these shadows in it, you cannot beat that. So, yeah, definitely go check that out if you get a chance. You can order it online at Ulta.com, um, or you can go into one of their stores and ask one of the sales ladies there, and they'll help you find it. So that's pretty much it for this check-in. I will link everything down below as usual. And as always, be good to yourself and each other. Bye, guys.